Greetings, Sanuki Squad, and welcome back to a new Let's Try video where we're going to be trying some Japanese stuff. So, without further ado, let's get right into this video. We are going to be trying some more Japanese stuff. Now, I will say, real quick, disclaimer, I am filming this video before I've even edited the last one that we did of these, which I don't even know if I'm gonna post this one first cause it's quicker or what, but yeah, who knows? But anyways, we got some more Japanese snacks. If you don't know, we're gonna be moving to Japan. So we figured why not try some of the snacks before we get there? So we have some Mela, Mela? Focus. Oh, your face is in the way. So here we have some melon mochi. And we got this melon cream soda. Here we go. I'll let you take a look at a can. I will say the cans look very interesting. I, I, it's a much, much more different can layout. <laughs> As you can see, it is a much different can layout it got some grooves here the top is a little different um they do it's funny having to hide behind each other because it won't <laughs> focus on things uh, the curse of technology i know <laughs> i'm thirsty so let's try the soda first soda first so i didn't know if you would want to try this first and in case we don't like it wash it down even though they're both melon well, what if we don't like this that's true. This is melon cream soda. Taking a look at that can. Now they do cover up some of the back with a American sticker, but um, there's the top. It's a little different. Uh, and then, you know, the bottom stuff. It, it's typically, it's, it's a soda can. This is a soda from Japan. Um, very popular and I'm very interested to try it. It so, contains milk. Huh. Powdered skim milk. Ha, ah, Japan, here we come. You can keep looking at your can. We're only going to open one. Ooh, okay, that's a much different opening sound. I was expecting mm -hmm. like a large click, but that's actually easier than any soda I've opened in the past. Um, oh, and it's green. Ooh. It smells so sweet like candy. It does. It's it's it smells very sweet. As you can see, that is like a very Oof. here they don't they that is that is a really green and the cream it just sells on the top there, as you can barely see because it won't focus on it. But um It looks like a Jolly Rancher. It does. It does look like a Jolly Rancher. And smells like it. Nice yeah, yeah, it does. All right, so a uh, little click and bottoms up. That is very good. <sighs> it's not as strong and sweet like a Jolly Rancher. I, I get what you mean. It has that like, um, I don't, it's not the taste. It's not the taste of a Jolly Rancher. Like, okay, when eating a Jolly Rancher, every no matter what flavor it is, there's always that specific flavor to the candy that you know it's a Jolly Rancher. Yes. Um, and that's what it's giving off. It's not the taste. It's just that Jolly Rancher, like, taste effect. But I love that it's not as carbonated because people yes. that know me very well and people that know... Kasune, uh, know that we don't, we, we're not big soda drinkers. I used to be. A lot of people who knew me growing up, they'll say, you drink soda all the time, but I rarely drink soda, and even more so, we always got that G Fuel, which you should check out, by the way, at gfuel.com, and you can use this <laughs> amazing code over here next to this beautiful person uh, to get yourself a sweet percent off at gfuel.com. 
That's nice. <laughs> That's really good. Ooh. Yeah, it still has that carbonation effect so that you can get that little bit of kick but it's not so strong and overpowering like it's more flavor than carbonation because that's my problem yeah. with most sodas is it's nothing but carbonation and it just it hurts my acid reflex but this oh for me i can't drink that much carbonation it just messes with my throat and everything so i just half the time i'm d making what you're doing decarbonizing the carbonation i'll open it let it sit for a few hours and then i come back and if it's too flat then i'm sad but this is perfect i like a little bit of carbonation and a good flavor ditto to everything she just said because i'm not going to repeat it all but the same i mean i don't let my soda just sit around i I'm stubborn, you know, if I'm thirsty, I'm going to deal with that carbonation. But, like, the carbonation, in my opinion, you can barely taste anything. This is a game changer to me. This is personally, like, the best soda I've ever had. And you said this contained milk? That's what it says. Powdered milk. Powdered skim milk. Powdered skim milk. How about that? 32 grams of sugar, 130 calories per can, uh, sodium, 15, uh, and 32 grams of added sugar. It, it definitely is sugary. It's sweet. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it has that going, and it has that really nice melony taste. Yes. That's a strong melon. That tastes really good. So now we're going to have the melon mochi, which I know I'm not the only one excited for because, I mean, whenever I post the other one, I talk about mochi a lot. We're going to we're gonna make a lot of mochi videos when we move to Japan. Just get that in your systems ahead um, a while. Let me get that pack out of here. Ooh, squish. All right. Got our rice cake mochi here. And me, ooh, this is squishier than the other batches we've gotten. Mochi is so fun to play with. If you don't play with your mochi, are you even eating mochi correctly? Look at this jiggly thing. Ooh. If you're ready, bottoms up. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. It's a very sweet mochi. It's not overpowering. It's so good. It's balanced. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like this more than the peach. I like this more than the peach. And peach mochi is my favorite. Hers is chocolate. I'm pretty sure this. No, this does not beat it. No, no, not even. <laughs> it's a nice fruit mm. flavor, though. It is. It's a nice soothing flavor. Mm -hmm. This is like... This is mochi I would eat if I strictly want comfort food. Mm -hmm. That's like the best way to explain it. This could be eaten as a snack. Like, just chain eating. <laughs> yeah. This is like good. It's not too sweet. It's... Mm -hmm. The flavor isn't overpowering. It's not overwhelming. It's just a nice, smooth mochi. You taste the melon and the rice cake all together. Now the real test. <laughs> oh, it enhances the melon flavor so much. At least for me, I don't know about you, but for me that enhances yeah. the melon flavor. Oh, I'm going to get addicted to this soda. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button. See you later. <laughs>